How's it going everybody? So, I know it's been a couple of weeks since I posted a new video, but I haven't been doing anything terribly interesting, just finishing up a few odds and ends. Well, I got the goats moved into their new pen, got feeder set up, and they've pretty much decimated most of the bushes in their new area. And, oh, well, I'm still not 100% sure, but I think Shastina there might actually be pregnant. Because, you know, she's starting to move around differently. Her bag is looking a little bit more full. Dump cake here is starting to get into his adult colors. You're saying hi. And he's starting to get some black around him. And Cinnamon there had a little altercation with Shastina. Got a couple of cuts on his ear, but those have healed up nicely. I got them a 40 gallon water container because, well, honestly, I was getting sick of going through and filling up their two one gallon ones twice a day. But they like this area. You know, there's currently plenty to snack on. There's not going to be much for much longer. And over here, I planted a garden. I'm referring to it as the prayer garden because I used up a whole bunch of very old seed and kind of threw it around willy-nilly and what comes up comes up there's only a couple of things where we had fresh seed for like I'm expecting quite a bit of sorghum to come up in this area because that was fresh seed and soybeans over here there's gonna be some soybeans right around right there and some mammoth sunflowers right there and corn and beans growing up right here. Oh, there might also be some pumpkins that show up in there. But, you know, this, aside from the tomato plants that are growing, there's a local seller that sold, you know, the end of the year's pots for a dollar. So I got 50 plants for $50. That was pretty nice. I'm pretty sure they're all beefsteak tomatoes, but I like beefsteak tomatoes. And this wet spot right here is sunflowers. More mammoth sunflowers. You know, the soil's not great. There's no amendments in it. There's no fertilizers being sprayed on it. It's just dirt but what comes up comes up i had a whole bunch of seed for that so i tried it set up a drip line on it just so you know hook up a hose it gets some water everything's good to go still working on flattening out the hill but that's going to be a very long project because I don't have a tractor. Yeah, that's... Oh, I also went through and planted three golden strawberry plant, or not strawberry, golden raspberry plants over here. Now, in, in this area, there's a major problem with birds and raspberries. Birds really like raspberries. Which, I don't blame the birds because raspberries are delicious. 
But if you want to trick the birds, do golden raspberries. Because they are gold and the birds look for red. Never turn red, so well, they never go after the berries. Alright. Let's go look at the bunnies. So here's the bunnies. And well, this is so successful, it's not terribly successful. So this nest box has four holes. There are two males and five females. You know, three white females, my silver Flemish giant mix, and then a black rex. Now that one right there is called the dominant male. And let's shoo the girls off. And she's starting to turn into an acrobat. She likes it up there. Scooch, scooch, scooch. You too. Scooch. Yeah, they like hanging out up here. But in here, we have babies. Babies. There's a little nest in there as well. More babies. So, I've had four Flemish Giant mix survive. All of these black ones are uh, purebred Rex. The little white ones are um, New Zealand and well, those ones are the ones that like to hang out together. I'm not sure what all they are because you know, I'm swimming in white rabbits. But, you know, it, I need to make another one of these nest boxes and make a larger cage because, you know, the babies are getting stepped on quite a bit. Oh, and this hinge system for the roof works out very, very nicely. I just need to put a handle on it. I've got the handle. I just haven't put it on yet. And got a little baby bunny net. There's the lawnmower, just hanging out. We scoot him along a couple of times a day, and he goes through and mows the grass. You know, he's retired. You know, he can't produce any more live offspring, or he can't produce any offspring anymore, so we've got him mowing the lawn. And in here are the first batch of babies. There's a lot of them. They're not the most friendly, but they're being bred for meat, so they don't have to be friendly. Oh, and I'm saving their poop in a bucket. Because bunny berries are very, very good fertilizer. And since I've moved the ducks out, or the ducks, the goats out, I've opened up the fence again, and the chickens are out roaming around. They seem pretty happy with that. I've got to go through and rake up a lot of stuff. The, do the ducks have just finished molting, that's why it looks like a down pillow exploded. But, you know, everything's going pretty well. I seeded this area with some, you know, pasture seed. 
It's just a mixed seed. I'm trying to get the chickens to breed. I'd like to have a few more for meat purposes because, you know, everybody says rabbit tastes like chicken and it does. Rabbit tastes like store-bought chicken, but you know, pastured chicken tastes like pastured chicken. I only had one hatch, but you know that one's growing up nicely. But one is not enough, so hoping that all this extra nutrition will end up with a higher fertility rate. Alright, that's all that I've managed to do. Y'all have fun. Bye.